questions? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing good on. Uh, we haven't done much except for Friday. CT took BP today. How's how's how do you feel like he's doing and progressing? You know, I think he's doing okay. I think he um, he gets a little bit better every day, and uh, I, don't, I think it's something you can't hurry. It's uh, it's just one of those things um, that everybody gets eventually, and I, you know, we're hopeful he's going to be available for this weekend, but. In, we we'll probably won't know until tomorrow if, if you can uh, run and run. What have you seen from Mark himself? Um, well, obviously, Mark has got a, a big hit for us on Tuesday night. And, uh, I think he's, uh, especially with a left-hander going tomorrow night, I can, you know, I think him, him that well is going to be really important to, uh, to our club. And, he, you know, he did what you expect him to do, get big hits and you know, put the barrel where he he needs to in key situations, so uh, I'm pretty pleased with uh, where he is right now. Do you like using him in that nine spot, too, because almost another leadoff guy? Yeah, I, I think there's something to that, although I, I think he can comfortably hit anywhere else. Right? I, I, it's, it's really, we just don't want to have two non-runners in a row in our lineup. So, you know, if you, if you, if you look at our lineup, it, it's kind of strange. That's one of the reasons why you have a hit hitting the four hole. Not to criticize Wes, but he's not exactly a runner. So you need to have a runner behind him. And, um, so yeah, I, I think um, he's, you know I think he can be productive out of nine hole, but I think he can be productive out of really anywhere in the line. How do you feel about the competitiveness you have, kind of with the musical chairs for four guys for three spots in the outfield when CT comes back? Yeah, I, you know, I just I think they're all really mature kids, and I think they all um, you know understand that uh, we're trying to put the best nine out there. And, Certainly, uh, you know, CT, when he's 100% healthy, he's got something that some of those other guys don't have. He's got, a, you know, a ton of experience, although, you know, CT's just had the misfortune, of the really bad luck of some injuries over the last three years. But, uh, you know, if we get him healthy, certainly, and he's running to the ball the way he can, you know, I think he's one of the, you know, best defenders, you know, in our league at that position. Another potent rotation going against this weekend. Do you attack them differently than you did Vanderbilt, or are there some things you can take away? Well, you know, everybody's different, so we'll watch the film, we'll look at all the scouting reports, and, you know, what's different is, you know, maybe this guy can't defend his position, or maybe this guy's really good at defending his position. Do you bunt on this guy? Can you run on this guy? You know, uh, you know, all that's in play. So, um, you know, we'll do the, we've done the scouting report stuff, we've collected all the information, we looked at it today, we'll have our meetings today, and, um, you know, and see, see how we can attack these guys. We've gotten an idea over years of what an Arkansas team is, but now there's just so many names missing from the last two seasons, almost a, a really a new ball club coming in. But really talented, and their pitching numbers are ridiculous. You know, I mean, it's just, a, you know, you played Vanderbilt last weekend, look at their their pitching numbers, and then you look at Arkansas's, they're, they're really almost identical. I mean, it's a very good pitching staff, very well coached. You know, they, they're they a very good defensive club. Um, and, uh, you know, you just, you got to really hope that the your club gets off to a good start. And boy, you know, we'd love to have the same type of home field advantage that we did last weekend with a tremendous vocal crowd. You know, I, I think our kids really feed off that. Who wouldn't? Um, and, we, you know, we got to get off to a great start on the mound. And certainly Preston did that for us last weekend also. You'll be facing one of your former players in Wilkerson. Just what do you remember about his time here? Yeah, you know, he's a football guy here. And, uh, you know, we remember meeting with him and he wanted to make the move to, play baseball. I just I remember being a great athlete, um, just not a great baseball player yet. He needed to go get a, some at bats and, and kind of figure out the game a little bit. And, you know, in years past, before you had the 35-man roster rule, man, you, you, had a, you had a ton of those guys around. The two of them were guys um, when I was playing, and, and now, now it's so hard to do that. But yeah, I, I've seen him play on TV, and uh, um, We've seen him DH uh, a, a lot, and uh, you know I think he's done a nice job for this guy. How do you think Brandon's adjusting to his new role, kind of out of the bullpen rather than starting? You no, know, I, I think his, his posture, his uh, body language, I think it's been phenomenal. I think he's really adhered to that. You know, Butch has really has worked hard to kind of re rebuild him, recreate him a little bit with little, you know, a little more two seam, a little more sink, a little less velocity, a little bit more. Uh, a pitch to location, and uh, I, I really, I think his last two times out have been really promising. I've said all along that he's really close, and I think he's even closer now that, you know, you watch, uh, 
his last two hours. And when, for Lingren, same thing. He seems to love that role coming out of the bullpen. Y'all talked about it before. Y'all wanted to get him in there, get a left-hander to get you a couple innings. He's done just that. Yeah, I, I don't think Lingren's close. I think he's there. I, I think, uh, you know, it, it takes a lot to stay there, but certainly, my goodness, I, I don't think he's had a four out of the stuff. You know, this this year, so that it's a real luxury to have a guy like me in our whole thing. You know, he's grown up so much and uh, really understands his his role and what he can do for a club. When you look at your report, Sean, is, is, is Jake hitting the ball hard and he's getting barrel like you want him to, or is he kind of doing more fly ball and scuffling a little bit right yeah, now? Yeah, I, I, you know, in our ballpark, line drives look like fly balls, you know, because it's just the nature of this 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 yard. But I I think you know, anytime you get a hard contact. Um, Again, I mean, an inch here, there, he, man, I can't count how many rockets he's hit to second base and the first baseman. So he hits balls hard on the ground, and then he gets out. And then he hits a line drive in and out for him, and he gets out. You know, everybody goes through that. You just hope they don't change their swing because, you know, it's, it's a good productive swing that's hitting the ball hard to begin with. So there's a lot in our game that you can't control, and I think, you know, that's one of them. You can't control where where defenders are and if you get out or not. So I, I, I really, I'm really pleased with where Jake is. And I thought Tuesday night, you know, he's swung about very, very well. Still a long